Hi everybody, I am back again with another series. This is going to be probably a, a short one. I'm only going to make one wand here, but I wanted to share with you these skinny sticks that I found at Walmart. You got 75 in here, and I thought this would be a cute way to do another wand. So I already did one, and what I'm using for the little shaker part, I don't have the packaging, but they come like this, and you take this part off and it'll stick. Um, I found these at Michael's a long time ago and I think they are Jelly Bean Soup brand so they come in different sizes and I th think they might have a sh different shape as well but I got this size and then this size here well you could see there's a few in there so I thought I would go ahead and try to make a little shaker out of it and because it's something to shake I thought it'd be a better idea to use something like this um, with these skinny sticks because they're a little, you know, they're more firm. They won't bend or break like straws would when you try to shake it. So I really like how that came out. And I could paint this too, but I'm going to leave it this color for now. Um, so I'm going to make another one. This one, I used my rosettes that I make out of cupcakes. I do have a video out there for that, okay? So please just look for it. And I used this paper. This. this is from Paper Studio, and it's um, it's from Hobby Lobby. It's Paper Studio brand called Love Struck. So that's what's in there, and some pipe cleaner or chenille stem, a bow, and then the goodies inside. Um, I did use two punches for this, so I have my bigger punch, which let me see how big this is. This is a two-inch punch, and then oh no, I only use one punch. I'm sorry one punch so let's just scoot things around here and this time I'm going to use a different paper pad because I want to make it a little more on the shabby chic side let's see if I have some scraps of something that I might want to use I guess not let's see here where's my cat this pink, yeah, this one here because it's got pink. I don't have anything. Nope, no scraps of that. All right, so I'm just gonna punch my two inch circle and put it right there. Um, put that aside. So this is a perfect size for this. It it fits just right on that, right? I'm going to fill my uh, little thing here with some sequins. I think, let's see. Yeah, I do have some heart shape. I'm going to pull out some other ones here. And somewhere I have, oh, it's right in front of me. Okay, so I've got an assortment of sequins here. I'm going to use a little bit different than what I used in the other one. So let me just throw in. I have these hugs and kisses, which is perfect. I don't remember where I got this from. Let's see, make sure they look okay. I want to make sure they're facing the right direction. Is there two in here? Yep, there's two. When I throw it in. Okay. I'm going to put in some gold hearts and I'm not going to use red because I want to keep this shabby chic. I'll throw in some white. Oh, I do have pink hearts here. I got an assortment of some pink hearts and then I'm going to put in some of these and some of these. Whoops, I lost one. I'm just kind of look underneath how it looks. Okay, I think I need a little gold. Let's throw in some of these. I don't want it too big. Okay, that's enough. I don't want to go too crazy. Alright, so now you're going to carefully 
take that sticky stuff or that paper off and put this down and trying to get it even and seal that and no matter how hard I seal it the um, sequins sometimes get in between that dome and the paper so it might still get stuck in there and I do this just to make sure it's down so now I got this really cute shaker and it has a hugs and kisses in there all right so next step I'm going to glue down my stick to my rosette real simple and it's nice and flat too so you don't have to worry about bulk on this and then I'm going to stick this and there is a direction to this paper so I'm going to see if I can find it oh, I think it goes right there and just hot glue it to here put it in the center of my you're going to get a little bit of humidity in there from the heat, but it will dry up. All right. So now this liner is a little bit smaller than the other one, but still works. Let's try to make sure that's down. All right. So now what I'm going to do is take my pipe cleaner. And I think I probably have more than enough with this space here. I'm going to like pre-curve it a little bit just so it's... Yeah, there's plenty. Now it's not thick enough to cover all of that little lip there. So I'm just going to go at the edge of it just to cover enough so that you don't see this edge. Okay, so let me just go ahead and do that. Put this down. And got to turn that, make it curve. So you're shaping the stem at the same time. Make sure it stays in place. Okay. And just keep going. Now there's those other, the wire, the chenille wire, or what is it called? It comes on a spool that is like tinsel wire or tinsel trim that might be thicker I had mine put away so I did, I think I put it with my Christmas stuff but I should have left it out that might be even better to use and you might cover more but you really don't see any of that in there at least I don't see it a little too much glue there and you could use the gold stems or the fuzzy stems in any color you like all right so now we're going to cut that piece off and I'm going to trim this up a little bit. It's a little, um, not even up here. All right, so we got that. And then I'm just going to add one more little embellishment to finish this off. But you could leave it at that point. Just going to add a bow. And so maybe I'll use a different bow. Now, I like it with the tail. Get this pink bow here and... gonna place it down there and now I am done really really cute and you could put bigger embellishments in here instead of sequence or you could put beads in here 
you can turn it into a teeny tiny shadow box if you find pieces small enough but I thought that was cute so I hope you are enjoying I hope you're enjoying all these series I do have a few more coming um, stay tuned bye now <laughs>